Hello and welcome to Beam NG Drive. I'm David N. Ark, and today we're going to take a look at the train doing some crazy stuff. That's right. Uh, I actually watched a video of uh, Dragist, and he sent the train over a ramp. So I thought, what if we sent the train over the ramp? Oh, and could it survive? <laughs> no, no, it can't. Um,. I may, I may have made the ramp a little too steep for the train. I'm going to guess that's the problem. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to try this again, though. Let's get the train going. Oh, here we go. As it hits our mesh road ramp and flies up over. It just, yeah, it can't handle the angle throwing the truck out of the train oh my gosh we just blew that train apart okay so i think what i need to do is adjust the jump just a little bit so that maybe it's not quite such a steep landing for the poor little guy let's take a look and see what we can come up with There we go. There we go. Oh, no. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, he's doing a little side rail action. I'm not sure he's going to be able to fix himself. Let's find out. No, look at that. The train rights itself, and the back end is actually off the tracks. Oh, wait. It is putting itself back on track. Holy cow, ladies and gentlemen, that is truly one of the most awesome things I've seen. In addition to the bend that we now have in the top of the train. Okay, let's send this bad boy back around. Oh, man, that was awesome. Holy cow, I can't believe it righted itself back onto the tracks. I'm pretty sure I said this in the other video when we recorded this train, but what kind of magic, mystery, wizardry is going on with this train that it can find its way back to, excuse me, back to the track? I'm, I'm getting verklempt. I'm so choked up. Holy cow. That is awesome. Oh, man, that is so, so cool. All right, here comes the train down the tracks. Let's watch it land. Oh yeah, up over. Oh oh, nope, not this time. I don't I don't think it's going to recover this time. It's got way too much wobble. I, I'm wrong. It is recovering and it is finding its way slowly back to the track, I think. Now maybe not. Now here's the problem. We are coming up on a bridge. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to find its way. Oh, I, I think what's happening. Uh-oh, nope, nope, there we go. Oh, it's going to, well, it, it didn't fall. <laughs> oh my gosh, what is this? What is this? Oh, it is teetering basically on this point right here. Oh my gosh, that is rather precarious. Holy cow. All right, let me reset this bad boy and we'll fire it up. There we go. All right, we're going to send this thing flying. Woo! That, that did not bode well at all the second time around. Now, the first time, it managed to fix itself. So I'm thinking that perhaps the angle is still a little too steep for the train to handle. I, I would really like to have a uh, uh, something that is repeatable you know what I mean something we can do over and over here we go there we go just keep going no 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 stay up stay up oh it's trying real hard ah uh, can it make it there it is there it is ladies and gentlemen yes once again it is attempting to find its way 
back up. Oops, there it is. Hopped up onto the rails. <laughs> uh, whatever happened there during that transition, it's just enough to make the wheels hop back up onto the track. That is awesome. Now, I will tell you that uh, the main reason why I put the uh, jump where I did is because in Dragus's video, uh, when he adds the ramp, the train hits it, but it lands on a, a kind of a curved part of the track and goes spilling off into the woods. So I watched that and I thought, oh, if we put it on this map where we've got kind of these walls on each side, then maybe, just maybe, it will find its way to be able to use those walls as a writing mechanism and for the most part, at least for the first go around, it, it works. I mean, it works perfectly. That is absolutely crazy. <laughs> oh my gosh. I just, uh, that is so, so wild. So we're going to uh, send this train back around again. Like I said, I'm, I'm wanting something that I can repeat. Is this a phenomenon that is just the, the once around and then it's too out of whack to save? Or is it possible that we can actually repeat this? Now, the other part of the equation is the speed. So it's not just a matter of can we repeat the task, but perhaps the problem is we're going too fast. And so really what we need to be doing is like hitting the jump at say maybe 55 or 60 instead of 65 to 70. That's definitely part of the equation here. And I think for the sake of argument, based on our previous uh, experience here, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to let, once we get back around here, I think I'm going to let the train uh, slow down a little bit. I'll, I'm going to hit the jump at around 60 miles an hour and see if hitting the jump at around 60 provides just enough stability with the speed to get us off the jump with a decent uh, result, but also uh, be able to nail the landing, because really that's what it's all about. Oh boy, uh, we're still going too fast, too fast, too fast! Oh! Woohoohoo! We are riding on two wheels, or, well, technically half the train. Can we do it? Can we get back on track? I don't think so. No. Because, I think because I let go of the acceleration, it, uh, it, it broke some stuff. I mean, the train wants to go. It just cannot go. Oh, wait. I didn't know I could steer. Can I steer? Maybe that maybe that was a fluke. Oh, come on. If I could just get it to go. Come on, man. Get on track, dude. Now, nope. I think I think we're done here. Man. All right, so when we were first looking at this train mod, uh, one of the things I did was I added in the immovable wall, which is a mod uh, of a wall that's supposed to be immovable. However, we were able to move it with the train. This time, however, we're going to take the mesh road, which is truly immovable, and <laughs> run, run the train dead smack into it. And that uh, breaks the engine in, in every sense of the word of breaking engine the engine okay we're, we're gonna have to watch that again oh here we go train coming in eight times slow motion oh man <laughs> holy cow look at the com excuse me look at the compression and that just absolutely destroys the engine pieces and parts flying off oh the poor train just, there's, it, it's no match for a truly immovable wall. There's, there's no way to move a mesh road. We are running into, well, a, a brick wall. I mean, there you go. <laughs> so that is, <laughs> oh, that is, wow, that is cool.
Holy smokes. Well, there you go. A train on a jump, a train into the wall. I don't know. What else would you like to see? Got any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories? Feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. And thank you guys so much for watching. We will see you next time in Beam and G Drive.